predictions for the big game. WVUA 23's Cameron Crow has more. The first weekend in November for most people is a time to start looking forward to Thanksgiving or Christmas. For people in Alabama and Louisiana, this weekend holds their respective team's SEC and national championship aspirations. Former LSU coach and current Alabama coach Nick Saban has been at the center of the rivalry since becoming head coach at Alabama in early 2007. The Crimson Tide are currently on a seven-game winning streak against LSU, but this weekend none of that matters as the Tide travel to intimidating Death Valley and Baton Rouge. Another potential classic between the number Number one tied in the number three Tigers. We asked some Alabama fans what they predict to see tomorrow night. This is the new Alabama. This is the Natty Championship Bama team. All right, this is the second year in a row. We're going for it. You know, we're going to win this one too. So, LSU, you're just in the way. That's all I got to say. Uh, Vegas has a two touchdown favorite. I think that's for a reason. I think that says something. Uh, it's 14 and a half. I think historically, Saban, you know, when teams start to talk and start to get a little confident, we kind of just come in and take care of business. So I think history will repeat itself tomorrow. This weekend, the West will be won. The Alabama LSU rivalry is back and bigger than ever. Since Saban's arrival, the Tide are 9 and 3 versus LSU, including a victory in the BCS title game in 2011. But wins have been hard to come by in Baton Rouge, with the widest margin of victory being 10. In Baton Rouge, the last six years, the scores are 21 17 in 2012. 20 to 13 in 2014 and 10 to nothing in 2016. Also in Baton Rouge, the Tide have not scored more than 27 points under Saban's leadership, but two in the Alabama offense have a chance to change that this weekend. In Tuscaloosa, I'm Cameron Crow, WVUA 23 News.